hello guys welcome back to my channel once again this is shades of my day today i'll be walking you through on how i got this bitcoin flyer design as you can see it's very catchy and it's very it, and it's very attractive so i got these images online and i had to merge them together and brought live into some of the images here you know into all of the images rather I had to tweak it here and there, do some manipulation. So I'll be walking you through how I got everything. So by first, we'll open a new layer, Control N for a new, for a new page rather. So I used 2000 by 2000 pixel to get this. So I'll be dropping the, the tutorial files in the link below, so you can follow follow as I am doing the designs and everything. As you can see, this is a, this is the image but i had already extracted it for you as a png file so i'll be dropping the png file for you so you what you do next is you drag this in you, you can choose anyone in 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 order of preference i can do this if i want so if you want if you drag this in first then you will now drag in your your image like I said is in order of preference you can drag in the background first or the fourth first I can decide to, to do any one so what I did next was just to okay, did I bring out my flare let me check my flare what I did next was bringing in my flare placing it behind the vault like this then change the blend mode to linear dodge add then expanded it a little bit then duplicated it just like this sorry it's giving this edgy design let me drag this here drag this here sorry because i removed it from from the layer so it's giving that edge design as you can see in all my designs i always use this flare so for this flare so i now brought as you can see i now for this one now let me show you the other here you can see i brought in my this first then as you can see you can see these images here you can see they are they are all duplicated so what i did next was to bring in this flare Ctrl D to duplicate above the vault so I now dragged it like this and reduced it a bit I reduced it I placed it under okay, let me reduce it a little bit more I placed it under this vault as you can see because I extracted the image so it's giving this kind of vibe so what you will do is you can simply create the a mask here then come to your gradient tool and gently brush the edges you can gently brush the edges like this v2 you can then you can press ctrl j to duplicate you can shift this in anyhow you want it so that was how i got this you can de decide to use your move to to you know change it any way you want to control t you can you can um, decide to resize it any way you want so it's it's that easy it's it's very simple to get this part so what i did next was to you know create a a text i use Mont montserrat black size 24 for this text color white now for this then for these images to as you can see this is an image here you can see all i did was to bring in this image and i added cushion blur to it you can see cushion blur is the um, radius here is 7.8 for cushion blur so it will look it will look like it's moving from this vault and i also added images also i'll be i have dropped them in the link below so you can do where to download it as you can see you can decide to hard cushion blow or you can decide to leave it leave it that way 
So this, let me show you the, the same um, font, but different um, style. Montserrat bold. I used bold italic for it. Then for this, as you can see, I drew an eclipse shape. With my foreground, uh, when I added um, a, a gradient overlay to it. Let me show you the FX here, as you can see. The FX for the bevel and emboss, you can see this. The depth is 43, size is 13, soften is 9, stroke, you can see is, size is 4. Position is outside, opacity is 100%. Then I added contour to kind of, but it won't really be visible there. Then I added gradient overlay, my favorite overlay. If you've watched my videos, you see that I use this most times because I love this color. So I use for position under for location zero, I use F79 71E. Then for location 100, I used FFD 200. Then drop shadow, sorry. Then drop shadow. I used normal opacity 100, distance 10, spread 0, size 16. Then the normal one. Then I had to reduce it and I duplicated it. So as you can see, it's all you can see the layers here, all duplicated. So I made sure I use the same font for all my designs. Then finally. What I advise you guys to always do is use a color lookup. You can find it here. You, you come to your adjustment layer here. You will see it here. Color lookup. So when you come here, you will see different types. But what I used here was film stock. I used film stock for mine. So let me delete this. I used film stock for mine. As you can see here, this is film stock. Film stock for mine. You can you can choose any one. You can set to choose three stripe. You can choose four unite to, to give different feel. But I chose film stock because film stock sharpens my my design. It brings life to my design, and I reduced the opacity to fifteen and the fill to sixty six. So it, it will be too sharp. Then also, if you notice that if you notice this this image was worked on. I did. I applied a camera raw effect to it. Why I increased the brightness, the contrast, you know, so many things, just to make it um, yellow as this. So what I did was, on your, on your, if you have a similar image that I want to use, you can press Control Shift A on your keyboard. Sorry, it's taking a while to load. On your keyboard. Sorry, it's loading. So you can see on your keyboard, Control Shift A, Control Shift A for and the the shortcuts. You can see I I, I increase the contrast, the texture, the clarity, the DAs and vibrance to give you this kind of feel. But I won't be doing it again because I had already done it before. So that was how I got this design. So it's very very simple. Then for this last part here, this shape part here, you can see I did. Let me. Put it back to 100 percent you can see it's it's a black um, design so i i reduce the opacity and fill to around 37 so you can see the effect that i did here the same one never than boss but you can decide to do it any way you want then i and I, then i added stroke to it and inner shadow you know just play around the design to get your own preference here you get now you can you now reduce it to just give it that blend feel you know then you can add a little drop shadow to it too drop shadow i added uh distance 30 spread 31 size 40 to this so it's very very simple to get you can oftentimes designers don't and uh, clients don't ask for two busy designs very simple and catchy so if you do a very simple and catchy and, and and easy to understand people will read that and be like yeah this is a good design let me you know let me have something like this so that's what sells most in designs nowadays and you make sure that your designs are well aligned using the ruler tool you can see that they are all aligned i did this because i had to do okay let me do that this one 
I did mine, it was all aligned. But when I was doing this tutorial, that was when, I, that was when it, it got shifted. So you can do any one. You can, you can decide to use any measurement. You know, just make sure it's, it appears very nice and neat. Sure you again. So thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thank you.